Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, mm -hmm, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today's Thursday, so what does that mean? It means I'm bringing to you a throwback Thursday where I bring back to life one of my oldie but goodie DIYs. Today's DIY is a DIY that I wanna say I did probably the first year that I was on YouTube which is what, about six years ago and 700 and some odd videos later. I love this DIY and I know I say that often, but hence that is the purpose of Throwback Thursday where I'm bringing to you some of my favorite DIYs that I've ever done. 730 videos in, I've got some that I really like and so this is definitely one of them. Today's Throwback Thursday DIY, I am bringing back to you with a fresh new twist. I'm recreating it and I'm making it new again, bringing it back to life again. I can't wait to show you what I have in store for you for today using a hanger of all things. Now, for those of you who have been around on my channel for a while, you know exactly what DIY I'm talking about because I've only done one DIY with a hanger. And this is it, but it's got a fresh new rustic farmhouse look on it that I think you're absolutely gonna love. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it and let's do a throwback Thursday with a twist on a budget. You're gonna love this. My blog is up and running. I've got a few blogs posted. If you're interested in following me on this next chapter of my life and all the amazing paths that it takes me on, you can find the link to it in the description box below. This is where I get personal. Everything is personal, including this blog. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so for this Throwback Thursday DIY, yep, you're gonna need one of these wire hangers that has the cardboard on the bottom. That is key because the cardboard, you can remove it. I got this one from the dry cleaners. I'm not sure where else you can get it. I just keep the ones I get from the dry cleaners. Now for the cardboard part, yep, I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree's twine and guess what I'm gonna do with this twine? Yeah, I'm gonna roll it. Look at that, the magic of the internet and YouTube. It is magically wound. It took about a half an hour to do it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm also going to wrap the wire hanger itself with twine. I found that if I started on one side and went up to the hanger part of it and wrapped it, then started here and going down, I had the best results. And look at there, we're done. Isn't that quick? Awesome, who needs to watch me wind twine around a hanger? So like I said, this cardboard is key because we wanna be able to have the ability to remove and replace the paper towel. And so just like that, we've got a nice twine hanger, yeah. I'll also be using one of these oval wood plaques. This one I got from, it's Art Mine, so where is that? That's Michael's, yeah. If you can find one at Dollar Tree, I say go for it. Now this isn't predictable, right? Of course I'm gonna be incorporating some of Waverly's antique wax and I'm gonna paint that plaque with it. I will be using a vinyl decal today for this Throwback Thursday that Linda designed. This vinyl decal is available in Linda's Etsy store for either instant digital download for the bargain price of $1.50 or you can have Linda cut and send them to you with free shipping for the bargain price of $5. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store. Yep, guess where? in the description box below. I decided to cut this decal out in white vinyl. Linda is making these decals available in white and black vinyl, so you can choose if you don't wanna go with a wood walnut stain and you wanna go with a white or a gray or a colored. You choose, the options are there. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I'm calling weeding the vinyl. Once I've weeded it, I'm gonna go ahead and put my transfer tape on top give it a nice good scrape with my scraping tool to really adhere that vinyl onto the transfer tape. Now, trick of the trade, 
instead of peeling the transfer tape up off the backing, if you peel the backing up off the transfer tape, it is so satisfying because watch this, it is so easy. And yes, this vinyl decal is gonna go here on the wood plaque that I stained with, mm-hmm, the walnut stain by Waverly that so many of you subscribers sent to me. You'll wanna stay tuned for subscriber mail. It is coming. I've gotten a ton of it. And so that's gonna be coming here in the next week or so. I promise you, I can't wait to show you all all the amazing things you all sent to me. And look there, I love this. Less is more, did I say that already? Guess where it's going? Yep, right here at the top. Perfect spot for it, don't you think? Once I placed the plaque, I did go ahead and flip it over and reinforced it with a ton of hot glue just because the wire is crooked for the hanger and so it didn't set flat onto the plaque and so I just kind of filled in some of those gaps with a ton of hot glue. And would you look at the magic here? See, it opens up and then we can just go ahead and slide a paper towel roll on there. Isn't that perfect? It doesn't get any better than that. And there we have made a paper towel holder. But I thought I wanted to add some flowers to this and I really did try, but it was one of those times where I just felt like absolutely not. Once I started getting it on, there just didn't seem to be a place that was fitting for it, that it worked out. So you can see that this isn't working. I even thought I'd go in with just a single sunflower or a daisy, didn't like that. What I ended up going with were these beads. This is a pack that you can get at Michael's. It's in their dollar bins. I wanna say it's $2. I'm gonna take some twine. Well, this is Baker's twine. Regular twine was too thick to string the beads on. If you add just a bit of hot glue to the end of your twine, it makes it stiffer and harder so you can easily string your beads. And I'm not gonna stain these. I think that the light wood or the raw wood with the stained wood is going to be a nice accent. I didn't strand too many beads because I'm gonna use this as the hanger at the top to hang this paper towel holder from. And I'm gonna do that just by hot gluing the tails of the baker's twine onto the back of the plaque here. Nobody's gonna see this. If you're gifting it, you can always put felt over the back of it and cover this hot mess up. It's for me, nobody's gonna be taking it off the wall to look at the back, so I'm fine with the way it looks. And so yeah, just pound it with some hot glue, let it dry. Once it's dry, look at that, we've got a hanger and I am loving the contrast between the raw wood and the walnut stain. I feel like that raw wood goes so nicely with the twine and I think that this is just overall a fun, refreshing twist added on to an old DIY. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Jeanette Gibbons, who is bringing to us her recreation of my Jenga Blocks candle holders. I am loving these. I am loving the twist and the spin that you put on them. Thank you, Jeanette, so much for sharing your creation with us today. Tell me this is not so stinking cool. I love this DIY. Now, if you wanna go back and re-watch my old one, you can. I will link it in the description box below. I actually did a smaller version for toilet paper and it turned out adorable. So again, you can find the link to that in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed today's Throwback Thursday and me bringing this DIY back to life. Please make sure to give this video mm -hmm, a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive and bye for now, everybody.